Hey guys, Cup of Fun back from the cupboard. And I'm the Bard's Kiss. Adorable as always. We're back playing Rakuen. Last time on Rakuen, we found Tony's song. It was adorable and silly and great. It's pretty funny. And we were led to the direction to believe that Winston is our next target to find his song. Not entirely yeah. sure, but Winston was the direction we were given. If you want to switch scenes. Switch scenes. Switch scenes, we're in the game. <laughs> Here's his wife. Talk to them. Yeah, she thinks she doesn't remember it. I think it has something to do with... Door is locked. Her. This is Yumi's room. Yeah. Not that we've actually been told that. Oh, yeah, he says he does live across the hall. That's he does, and it's that. a four-letter point. Mm -hmm. Let's check on a girl, Gemma. Gemma and... What's his name? Winston? No. Oh, yeah, Winston. Yeah, okay. Hello again. Can I help you with anything? I don't think there's gonna be anything nope. new. Okay. Because we finished up. We wrapped that up already. There is a Rakuen entrance in Sue's bathroom. So, hmm. Let's go talk to Tony, I guess, right? Because we um, did his friend. Okay, he has some new words to say. <laughs> Sue is missing out, Sue. Who is this girl? Is that? Cora. That's Cora who's up there now. Oof. Yeah, she's moved. That's dark room. There's no lights in that room. We have to figure out what we have to do next because. Oh, hey, you should talk to Christina. I like your hat. I folded it myself. My mom taught me. Wow, you did a very good job. I used to know how to fold some things out of paper. Not sure I remember anymore, though. Um, oh. Alvander's return. So we sprayed some bitter spray on these headphones. So hopefully he doesn't chew them. But he seemed to not be bothered by it. So we'll see. Uh, What's your favorite food? Your favorite food. What's your favorite food? I hate everything now. Nothing tastes good anymore. But I used to really like crab cakes with real chunks of crab, not that baked stuff. Hmm, I think we've heard this dialogue before. What's your job? My job? Are you serious? I'm a retired pilot. I used to run a business selling airplane parts. I even built my own plane. Have been up in there in age, up in the air in ages though. Hmm. Who's that lady there? That's my daughter Christina. Like I always say, it's good to have some company now and then, don't you think? Sure, that's totally what you told us. Oh, hey, you definitely click the thing again. Yeah, it said hey kid. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, earlier he said people were always stopping by when he didn't want them, and when he wanted them, no one showed up. <laughs> Or something like that? Something like that. Elevator! Oh okay. yeah. We have to ban you from recording if you can't <laughs> handle the wires. So, um, we've been to everywhere, right? Yeah, oh, you should check on the music box, see what noise it makes. Oh yeah, because we fixed music box. Yeah. Okay, banish him from your lap. Attached. It didn't do anything. Okay. I guess that's still broken. I like do that every time. No, I don't. That's the door. <laughs> it's fixed in the in the raccoon world, but not the actual. Yeah. Bob. So it looks like we need to go back to raccoon. Have we found Kusaburo and raccoon? Um, I don't think so. Back to this room. This is a new thing they added. Anything interesting here? Just a cat. It's Ogie. Good old Ogie hanging out. So I guess back to Raccoon. I suppose. No, don't chew on that wire either. What's with you and chewing on all the wires? Do we have to? No, don't chew on that wire either. We're having some wire issues right now. Okay, we're back. Going back to the Raccoon lands. We had some cat difficulties, we had to account for it, and I see Mr. Difficulty coming back as we speak. <laughs> so we'll see how this he's goes. He's just playing with the blanket right now. I put a blanket down so he wouldn't chew on wires. Now he's just gonna lay on the blanket. He used to be really bad about chewing wires, and then he stopped, and now it's just back. And force. <laughs> so back to Rakuen. We, what are we doing, guys? Uh, we're trying to find... Cabbage cow? Mm, what was that guy's name? Uh, 
Kisaburo, that's right. We we're trying to find Kisaburo to help us with the things. Oh, the bears are back. Wow, they are. Wow. Piper bear. My dad is so different now. Thank you so much for fixing pro something that was so important to both of us. It's good to see you again. How are you? I'm doing great. I no longer want to live by myself on that island. Really enjoying spending time with my daughter and grand cubs. Grand cubs. Thank you for giving me back something I thought was gone forever. You have a lot of energy, friend. Honey! <laughs> He's sugar rushing right now. I like having a grandpa. <laughs> she went to the midnight tea shop. They have wonderful tea and a very nice. And going, I don't know what that couple actually is. Couple west of the water place. Palace runs Water it. palace runs it. Couple west of the water palace runs it. Edit out that whole one action. <laughs> We've kind of ignored the sky area. Let's go to the sky no, area. No, we explored it. There wasn't much to explore because we have to fix all the other beam stocks too. We fixed quite a few stocks. Okay, okay I'm not going sheep yet. in your way. <laughs> sheep says no. Sheep says no. Sheep snope. The nope sheep. <laughs> Okay. So should we go for the pickaxe next? Should we see what we can do for that? Uh, yeah, sure. We can check that out. This is the first time in this game we haven't had a direction like to go in. We have to find Kisaburo in this world, I think. We'll come back, guys. Oh, never mind. We need to talk to the sign. <laughs> oh, I missed. He has bread over there. <laughs> Tool menu. Pickaxe. Cane for sticks, booming rock, and nightstone. Cool. Where do we find those things? Lumen rock or lumen onion, am I right? <laughs> um, that made no sense. Here's a fire. Down here is the garden. Nope, yes. We really need a pickaxe to explore. We need the pickaxe places. for that. <laughs> cat check. Everyone, check your cat right now. Make sure they're not chewing your wires. Oh, this guy, this, this large gentleman. I hope his stomach goes up when he moves his knees. Good luck in there. Sadly, so we can get to that chest now. There's the onion people. Onions everywhere. Oh, and there's this weird, there. like, nerd bird. Nerd bird? Nerd bird. Nerd bird. He's like a nerd bird. Why is he a nerd bird? Because he looks like he's wearing glasses. <laughs> 25 gold. Yeah. Can I get back some of the money we lost? <laughs> from um, doing that one thing earlier, buying all the stuff for the <laughs> lounge, hangout, patient, patient room. lounge room. Which I don't know if that's an actual thing at hospitals, but apparently it is in this game. Where were they? I don't know. I've never heard of a place that had a patient lounge. Room. I see a, a label blocking our path. Sorry, the festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. Oh, a festival? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. So that's a dead end. We can go that way with the stones. Stones in your way. Sad so. onions. Yeah. Grumpy onions? No. Well, you having some issues there? Had an issue there for a second. It's fine. Butter. Wait, oh, oh. When we chop those down, do we harvest them? Yes. We don't need them for anything right now. We gotta find those weird sticks. Near up with that weird flat looking thing. This guy right here, I can certainly try. Nope. Nothing. Okay. We gotta get the wind rocks and something else. Are there any more plants that we needed to, like, water? Maybe. I don't think we watered all the plants in the hospital. Do you think Gemma will ever wake up? Who? Gemma. I hope she does. Is there anything else to discover on Tony's Island, or was that just there for Tony? I'm well, we gonna go back and find out. We just need to find Kisaburo. Tony's Island. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's so much faster this time. Wait, is this where the bear, the bear died? I don't think so. This is there a fishing spot? Not they, where the bear they, died, the bear fell on a bridge. Spoilers. In the past. <laughs> past like, that's where like that's where they taught her how to fish, right? I don't know. 
Hmm. With a feature. Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. Oh, I need a hint. I need a hint. I'm really curious about what's going on with Kisaburo. Perhaps if we visited him in Morozoro's forest, we could learn more about the situation. If I remember correctly, there should be a door through the path behind his room. So I have to go through his room to get to him? Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks, Mom. Moms are always there for you. <laughs> Unless they're not. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay, so back. Back. Get back. There we go. <laughs> it's a really loud keyboard. It is. I'm really You heard upset. how many times you clicked it. Hmm? Heard how many times you clicked it. It was working. So, new setup means we have a keyboard because we're not using laptops anymore and it's a bit louder. And we're going to do something about that in the future, but for now, it's just going to be really loud for everyone involved. Backwards. Oh, oh my. Oh what? my. What? Did you say something that you didn't see before? This boarded up door. And we mm -hmm. have an axe. Awkward yeah, I have to ask you something. <laughs> oh, it's just a chest. 25 I, gold. I mean, 25 gold. I mean, how many <laughs> peanut butter num nums is that? One and a half. I mean, I that's like one and a half nurse bribes. <laughs> it's always nice when you can bribe the nurse. It's back to Kisabaro's bathroom. What's behind his. We can't get into his bathroom, right? It's boarded. It's uh, locked. Is it? It's the path behind this, in, this the room. Is locked. Why is it the bathroom? One of these doors. Oh. That one's locked. There's a sign. Here's. Here there we go. go. So this should lead us to Kisaboro. Yeah. What a nifty thing they built in to help. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this area. Beautiful dog. The best tea. In the whole forest. Oh man. Oh. Can we interact with you? No, they're death under us. But maybe if we. This one's. Hmm. There's not really a place to go. Interesting, yeah. So we'll go this way. There's so a cave. That, that's a problem for future us, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, future us can worry about that. So I guess. <laughs> just like we have to worry about editing this video. Um, oh he, yeah, he was this this little swamp dude. Yeah. Oh, I forgot we found him already. What brings you? What did you want? Did you hear this voice? I think you had this. What brings you to the hot spring? What's up? I know it looks like I'm relaxing here, but it's more like solitary confinement. What do you mean? Well, a long time ago, I fell ill, the kind of ill that no legal doctor could cure. So I visited Morizor when he was still awake. He told me to soak in here in this hot spring to regain my health. That was a long time ago, but he, but he's since fallen into a deep slumber. I've come to accept my fate, though I worry for my family once I'm gone. Ask him how to help. All right, there's more words. Can we help you? I hate asking for help, but seeing as how Morzor has commanded me to stay here, I guess I have no other choice. My wife, Kisako, and I run a little tea shop to the west of here. Ever since I got sick, she has had to run the shop by herself, which is no small task. Perhaps if Kisaburo had a couple extra helping hands, it might make it ease on the burden just a bit. Do you think you can visit her and at our tea shop west of here and see if you can... Do you think you can visit her at our tea shop west of here and see if she needs help with anything? Yeah, totally. Of course, we'll help out however we can. Like him so much, it really means a lot, both of it. Both of us, said both of us. <laughs> cool. Back to the best tea in the West Forest. Yeah. <laughs> watch that. And this beautiful dog, tree person, who I can't wait to interact with. Pretty interesting. Ooh. Hello, welcome to the Midnight Tea Shop. How can I help you today? My husband Kisaburo has been ill for a long time. When Morizoro was still awake, he told him to rest in the hot springs east of here in order to recover. How can I help you today? 
What is this place? We serve all sorts of teas here, as well as some homemade food. We even sell tea in bulk. Oh my. I grow all the tea myself in the plantation out back. I love gardening. I feel at home when I'm surrounded by plants and nature. Can we help you out? You want to help? You mean like you're looking for a job? Well, not exactly. Your husband, Kisaboro, asked us to see if you need anything. He actually said that to you? Well, well, I guess I could use some help with a couple of things. Business has been slower these days. I guess I'd feel a lot safer if we could get just one more big tea contract. I do have a customer in mind. His name is Monsieur Bud, and he holds regular tea events and it requires lots of tea. I'm sure if we could bring him a sample, he'd be our customer in no time. Unfortunately, I'm the only employee, so I can't really leave this store right now. If I could leave, I'd also visit our neighbor to pick up some dragon ash for this flower I'm growing here. Uh... Hikarabana. Well, good eye. This is Sindita Hikarabana. She's grown quite a bit. However, I don't think she'll bloom without the dragon's ash. Anyways, so you'd really like to help? Okay then, would it be too much to, uh, to ask you to go into the place? Bring Marcia Bud a sample of our tea and pick up some dragon ash from our neighbor. We'd love to help. We'd love to help. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. You'll find Marcia Bud in Skylands. I thought so. A beanstalk west of Liba Village should take you there. You can give him a sample of tea from this gourd. Our neighbor lives in the cave right outside our shop. Occasionally, the entrance of her cave gets blocked by fallen rocks. So you might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. If you ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you some dragon ash. Her name is Stor Stormy? Her name is Stormy, and she's a great water dragon. Try not to be intimidated. Good luck and thanks again. So, we need the axe. Yeah. Cool. For plot. The plot axe. <laughs> Let's pick up this. Let's see what we have in our inventory right now to help us here. We have a lot of berries. Oh my. <laughs> we need five Kempori sticks? Yeah, we had two. And we need... Um, some kind of stone. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll start by going... She lives in the caves to the south. Is that what they said? It was the dragon lady? Yeah. What are you looking at? There's nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Suspicious. Hmm. Look at all the caves are right over there. The ones that are blocked we can't get into. This so is the cave? Yes. So where do we get some stones? North is Envoy. We can't go that way. We could investigate it. Try to, at least. Dangerous game. I think there's anything to do here, though. It's like the water is being blocked. Mm -hmm. And this way, can we get back to the village from here or do we have to go back and through again? I think we go through that spot to get to the village. Or not. down to the caves. But this down is where Christina's cave is and maybe we can find the things we need. Just maybe, what's up here? If we go in this pot? <laughs> Why would you go in a... Not going. I mean, that can be like open it. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Little floating. You know that litter bug, light bugs? What was down in the well? These guys. <laughs> Didn't we this? Huh? We need the axe to get through this area as well. So just have to find the stones. The so axe that... is really important. Here's a cave. There's a note attached to the rocks. Read it. Hang out in Lebel Village. Christina. So we can't go in your cave, Christina. <laughs> okay, I thought there'd be rocks in a cave, because that's where you find rocks. Right. Maybe in the very first cave? By Morazora? Maybe. Also, the question's raised. If we go back to Morazora, will anything happen? 
What's going on? You see me asleep. I don't know if the little watcher guys will say anything. They'll probably talk to you like, hey, yeah, way to go. Two of those things are lit. Well, can we talk to the stones? Can we hear the songs again? Because they have cool songs. <laughs> I mean, I know we have everything recorded and we can just go back and watch the recordings. <laughs> but, like, songs, man. Songs, man. So, I guess our approach is to go back to Raccoon through a different door. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll find what we need in the sky. She said, get ash from her neighbor. I really thought it would be a really easy job. It's like, we'll go next one, grab some ash, grab that, and no, we'll we go. Need some, we need an axe, man. We need an axe. I almost went to the bathroom, but I didn't. <laughs> it's the most convenient raccoon door. Probably the one in your room, because it opens up to the, that place. And that one's kind of convenient, but it's a lot of work to get through it. Get through to it, you know? Have you, like, you have to go through this room. It's so dark. And you have to go through this room. Is this one the raccoon one? The axe one? No, it's just a chest. Oh, it's just a chest room. It's been a while. How long is this game? I don't know. We have a lot of playtime, but we, we also record and there's a lot of like sitting around and editing. Mm -hmm. and, uh. There's some reeds over there. Uh, do we need this? This is, uh, this is their potted plant. Can we take it? <laughs> we, can, we can't harvest our plants. Just a thought. Alright. So, I guess Skyland is to the west of Lebel Village, to what they said. Okay, it's north. Uh, this way's west. Yeah. Watch me be wrong on the internet. Actually, I am, because the camera's inverted, so west is that way for you guys, but it's this is way it, for us. Is it inverted? Yeah. Are those ghost girls? Did we talk to her already? We can go through the water? No. Nope. Hmm. I think we talked to her at some point. We had talked to her. I think. Oh, she jumped across. That's right. Mm -hmm. Through the waterfall. This looks interesting. Is there anything to interact with? Just some, just some trees. Nope. Okay. That's not something underneath the tree. Oh, the beanstalk. Do you need to mention? Jeez. Oh, hey, look. Hey, look. It's those rocks. Oh, that's a lot of work to pick up a rock. How many do we need? Alright, some bird eggs. How do I get to go around? Around. 25. I got gold. Gold always comes in 25s. Can't go through these trees. Raccoon's just rich, man. I guess all the money's in Raccoon. <laughs> can you talk to the sheep? Oh, can't interact with them. No, okay. Here's some more rocks. Where's some more rocks? I mean, not more rocks. Sticks. Sticks. I don't know why I said rocks. Wow, where did you come from? You're like giants. We've talked to you already, I mm -hmm. think. Okay. We can buy things here, like plush pillows and stuff. No. Punch onion. Ah! <laughs> Are you okay? Do you want me to read it? Should we read it together? That sounds like a really bad idea. My unholy dream moth just hit level 52. Wait, who are you and what are you doing in the sacred Calthrasha Catacombs of Otteron? Uh, what? He's an outsider! In his dreams! No, wait! Do you even know who he is? You're talking about a high level warrior from the plains of Sendai. <laughs> He has an enchanted blade that was given to him by great dragon Lector at Thor. Show him some respect. Ah, our, our apologies. P -p -p Please forgive us. <laughs> I'm just gonna take your stuff now. They're playing D&D. They're playing the raccoon version of D&D. <laughs> Raccoons and dragons. Uh, <laughs> doors and dragons. Look, more sticks. It's a lantern. Stick it to the man. <laughs> Should we try to traverse past this sheep? I haven't seen a reason to. Looks like a dead end. Look, oh, more sticks. sticks for days. Oh, is he doing jumping jacks down there? <laughs> Little wa watermelon bud? Oh, it's like an aerobics class? It kind of looks like it. I hear Moin Sorabut is serving some kind of special cake as today's tea. I can't wait to eat it, but I'm still kind of full from the last event. 
Reach for the skies. Work off those calories. <laughs> I had five scones the other day. I ate my Sora's Buzz afternoon tea. I gotta work it off somehow. <laughs> Feel the burn. Feel the yeah. burn. Let's get some sticks. <laughs> that was a silly silliness. Bloop. Get some sticks. Pots are pots. You guys just keep going. You just, can I, can I? Burn them calories. Make up for this five scones you ate. <laughs> five scones is a lot of scones to eat. It is. Have you ever tried eating a scone? They're pretty heavy. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, there was tea with it, though. <laughs> she had some scones. Go for all the tea we have. So is this rock and this rock a different rock? Yes, I believe so. Ooh, oh, we're going to Sue. <laughs> going to Sue. Uh, where are the rocks at? Night stones and lumen rocks. I think we we need five of each. Maybe. Cool. I hope we didn't miss any. So, are these oranges? I'm just gonna get. I've been ignoring the berries because we have a hundred or fifty berries. of them. We don't have a lemon. It's fine. I mean, what happens after ninety-nine? Do you know? <laughs> Do you even know? We went down there already. That's sheep land. That's no, just. No, it's. There was some rocks down here. You can go them. through this? Yes, but that's... It's not really lead anywhere. Yeah, okay. Just this. That's nothingness. Okay. So let's try going over here. I need to get up there somehow. Are you tapping my leg? Why are you tapping my leg? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I found out why she was tapping my leg, but it's a secret for you guys at home. <laughs> I have a mansion, man. Oh, oh my. This is a house of a house. <laughs> And there's some rocks outside. We're gonna pick your garden. Pick up those rocks in the rock garden. Have you heard? There is a legal artisan who has created a remarkable tea set modeled after sky buds. It's glorious. I believe he's one of the other floating islands. You should check it out if you're getting the chance. We went to that guy once. He's because we like he really wanted to buy it, but Oh yeah, I wanted to buy his everything. I feel like we're going to need it later. Now we have money again. So this is a beautiful mansion. How is this floating in the sky, suspended seemingly by only a cloud stock? I don't know. But I think this right here might be a different episode. <laughs> this might be the end. That might be why she was tapping my knee. Just saying. So we're going to transition to our faces. We're still new to this. Face. Hey guys, thank you for watching. This was fun. I cannot wait to go talk to Sue about that flower marble. She really likes my Sue voice. I, I like the Sue voice. I just love Sue Sue's and her great. marble. She's my favorite. Next time, I can't like we're having a tea party. Should we drink tea when we stream next time? Record next time? We have so much tea, guys. We have a lot of tea. We can drink tea <laughs> while delivering tea and drinking tea. It'll be great. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. There are things down below, links. Twitters, Instagrams, there's a subscribe button and a like button and there's a dislike button. Anyways. <laughs> All that jazz. Thank you. Until next time, have a great life. Bye-bye.